Have a green flag coming out of turn four. Jim Patchell, Louis Serigliano, James Appleby, Russell Groves, and Leroy Weaver round out the main event. So far, everything okay at the end of the first lap with Caesar, the leader, followed by Griffin and Schroeder. Pretty heavy duty in turns one and two. Once again, everybody makes it through okay. Caesar stretching the lead over Griffin, followed by Schroeder. The battle for Caesar in trouble. Griffin, a brand new leader at the end of lap two. Caesar going away back to 10th place with Schroeder, Altucho, Shatley, Wislowski, Forbes, Kostas, DePillo, and Hansen leading the point leader, car number four, Alan Gottfried. Griffin, smooth as glass into turn one at the end of lap three. And now Schroeder gets in trouble in turns one and two, going way back to the end of the pack. Altucho now second, Shatley third. Last time out, the 30 lap. 20 lap main event winner, Chris Forbes, is now in fifth place. Hansen almost tagging the wall as he comes out of turn two in car number 23, gathers her back up, and the end of lap four, Billy Griffin. Stretches a big lead over Roy Altucho. Chris Forbes now into third place. Putting Wislowski in fourth. Steve Shatley fifth. John Kosas sixth. Mario DePillo leads. Kenny Mann, Godfrey, Butters, and Zafino down the front shoot. around Billy Schroeder now in a lap traffic coming down the back chute has almost three quarters of a straightaway lead over Altucho, John Kosis in fourth place Chris Forbes second Altucho third Chris Forbes reeling in the leader now. Altucho third, Kosas fourth, Wislowski fifth, and the point leader up to sixth place. Leroy Weaver in trouble, headed for the pit area. Car heavy smoking. Forbes reeling in Griffin. Griffin into turn one. Car number 17, the leader, Bill Griffin, going to have his hands full with car 21, Chris Forbes. Chris Forbes getting closer and closer every lap. Griffin starting to slow down, looks like. John Kosas in third place. Trying to hold off Altucho, Wislowski, Gottfried, and Apillo. Coming into three, you're gonna have a brand new leader. Looks like out of four, Chris Forbes takes over the lead. No, he doesn't. Darn close. Forbes and Griffin, Forbes the leader. Griffin now the leader. The lead changes back and forth. Griffin picking up the throttle, going into turn three. Chris Forbes comes back at him, butters. In trouble, holding up the leaders. Chris Forbes takes it away. Bill Griffin falls in behind. We have a yellow flag.
Psychosis and Altucho. Let's see what happens. Green flags flying, and Chris Forbes takes early lead now over Griffin. Don Kosis, seeing what he can do, gets a little too crossed up, gives it away to Altucho. Wislowski, Godfried, and Pillow. Kosis in big time trouble, falls in at the back of the pack, and Chris Forbes is the leader at lap 14. Steve Shatley losing what he would call a control. Stroke a race out of turn four. Comes across at lap 15, the leader. Bill Griffin still holding on to second. Out the chose third. Wislowski and Gottfried banging bumpers into turns one and two. It's still Wislowski in fourth. Gottfried on the high side. Gonna try to take it away. Wislowski goes down low, gives Gottfried all the racing room he needs, and Gottfried takes advantage of it. Point leader, car number four, Alan Gottfried into fourth place. Now Altucho gonna put the move on Griffin if he can. Griffin. Holds him off, and Gottfried going to put on uh, a show for you right now. In a turn one, Gottfried gets passed out the show and starting to work on Griffin now. Griffin, a little too high. Uh, Gottfried finds just where he wants to be and gets into second place. 18 down, two to grow. Can Alan Godfrey do it in two laps against Chris Forbes? No way. We got a spin in turn one. Kenny Mann still not back under power. Here we go. We're under power. No cause for a yellow flag. White flag's already out. Checkered flag flying. As soon as the leader comes out of turn four. Chris Forbes makes it two in a row. Checker flag going to Chris Forbes. Them on, and we're gonna go racing in the Bomber Ovo main event. Norm Holcomb takes the lead into turn one with Dave Smoot. Dropping into second, Louis Cerigliano third with Billy Griffin in car number 17 fourth. Walter Pinkett in 107 is fifth, and he loses to Dale Briley in car number 09. Brad Guerin in car number 45 now takes over sixth place with John Costa seventh. Dean Preston in car number 11 leads Altucho, Laney, and DePillo. Holcomb continues to lead. One lap down going for two with Dave Smoot holding on to second place. Billy Griffin is third. Serigliano fourth looking for third. Holcomb stretches the lead over Dave Smoot. And we need the Pro Stocks line up, turn four of the half mile. Pro Stocks, we need you lined up. And Garen in trouble. Takes out Altucho. Both drivers okay and trying to get back on this track. Garen starting to steam everybody off the track we continue racing third place is Bill Griffin fourth place is John Tosis Preston in car number 11 holds off Dale Briley 
Dale Briley in car number 09 trying to get around Preston. Now car number seven, Kenny Mann starting to make a move. Car number seven getting around car number 14. Picks off 14 and trying to get around car number 09 now. Holcomb, car number 85 still the leader. Dave Smoot second. Griffin doing a great job holding on to third with John Kosis trying to move in on Griffin. John Kosis now on the low side of Griffin. Coming out of turn two, it's going to be Kosis into third place, and Preston follows him on through. Griffin starting to lose power into turn three, and Kenny Mann in car number seven looking for the leaders. Kenny Mann in sixth place. Briley seventh. Laney is eighth, followed by Cerigliano and Safino. Well, we had a domino effect at the front of the pack where the cars came together. It went all the way back and ended up taking out Butters and DePillo. And that'll bring out a yellow flag. Flag and he's waving it. We're back racing already with Holcomb and Smoot. Both headed for turn one. Followed by Kosas and Preston, Mann and Griffin. Coming out of turn two, it's Holcomb, the leader. Now it's Dave Smoot, the leader. Now it's Holcomb, the leader. Holcomb leads him through, followed by Kosas and Smoot. Smoot is in second, Kosas third. Kenny Mann gets sandwiched between Kosas and Preston. Kenny Mann in fourth, drops back to fifth with Preston taking over fourth. Now Kenny Mann gets her back. We have a yellow flag. I don't know why, but we do. Holcomb, car number 85, picks up the throttle, the green flag flies, and it's Holcomb and Smoot. Once again, headed for turn one. Kosis and Kenny Mann out of turn two, looking for the leaders with Holcomb doing an excellent job holding on the lead. And lap 10, Holcomb still the leader. Followed by Smoot, Mann, Kosis, Safino, Griffin, Wright, and Laney. Kenny Mann on the low side of Dave Smoot takes over second place and Domino's on back when cars bump together, taking out Donut Wright. Donut had worked her way all the way up to sixth, seventh place and drops to the back. Now Kenny Mann gets all over the rear bumper of Norm Holcomb and Dave Smoot follows him through. The leaders, Dave Smoot, Norm Holcomb, and Kenny Mann come out of turn four with Kenny Mann, the leader. Holcomb in second. Holcomb out of control, gathers her back up and loses three positions. Kenny Mann, the leader, Dave Smoot second. Tony Zafino third, John Kosas fourth, followed by Laney, Holcomb, Godfrey, Forbes, Griffin, and Preston. The pillow. And Patchell, lead Parker, Butters, Groves, and Tony Safino now in a second place. Kenny Mann, the leader, Kosis in third. And Griffin heads for the wall, glances off of it, and goes back racing. Car number seven is the leader, 153 on the lead lap in last place. With Chris Laney now starting to reel in, double zero, John Kosis. 15 laps down, five to go, Russell Groves in trouble. And that's uh, kind of a good break for 153. Here we go.
we go. 15 down, five to go. How many think Kenny Mann's gonna hold on the lead? He got Tony Safino right alongside him. And in turn one, we're gonna find out who the leader's gonna be because Tony Safino puts the pressure on Kenny Mann. And coming out of turn two, Kenny Mann gets a little too sideways, goes back five positions, and it's gonna be Safino. Laney, Kosas, Gottfried, and in fifth, Kenny Mann. Zafino has four laps to go to a main event victory, and if he can hold on, it's going to be all Tony Zafino because he's already put a half a straightaway lead in one lap on Chris Laney. Laney leads Kosis and Gottfried down the front straightaway. Seventeen down, three to go. Going into turn three, early pole setter Norm Holcomb battles with the pillow in right with Alan Godfried losing a position to Kenny Mann. Car number seven, Kenny Mann, starting to reel in the leaders now. Kenny Mann goes from fifth to third, and white flag flies for Zafino. Chris Laney in second, Kenny Mann in third. Kenny Mann now into turn three, trying to get around Laney. What's gonna happen? Looks like the checker flag's gonna go to Safino, but the battle for second is still on. Coming out of turn four, it's gonna be Kenny Mann picking up second place, Laney third, Forbes, Kosis, and Donut Wright all the way from the back. Two fifth and Godfrey in trouble. Tony Safino takes off on the north end of the track. guy waves a green flag. Tell me he's not into it. As they come out of turn four, Norm Holcomb looking for a green flag. Allen about falls out of the starter stand and lets her go. We are under green flag additions with Norm Holcomb leading the field. Mike Kirby quickly into second place. Dave Smoot third. Wild Bill Johnson fourth with John Kosis looking for a way around. The leader now is Going to be a decision between Kirby and Holcomb, and it's Kirby with Holcomb second, Smoot in third. Kosis fourth, Johnson fifth, and Robert Hurais in sixth. Patchell on the outside of Altucho. The two cars come together. Butters taps into the rear, and 153 tries to sneak by, can't do it. Kenny Mann, Robert Moltep, and Holland Godfried looking to get towards the front. Kirby comfortably now has about a two car length lead over Norm Holcomb. And we got him in trouble coming down the front chute that opens the door for car 153. The little lady sneaks right through into sixth place with John Kosis going off the racing surface and only losing one position. Curry the leader at the end of four and DePilo and Paschal in trouble. That slams the door shut on Godfrey, Delaney, Butters, McCall, Briley, and we're gonna have a yellow flag, a yellow flag. Coming out of four. Green flag for Kirby. And everybody picks up the throttle. We all make it through turn one and everybody now is coming out of turn two with the leader already in a turn three. It's Mike Kirby in number 96, followed by 57, Dave Smoot. Double zero, John Kosis. Roy Altucho, 219, Donut Wright, 153, and Norm Holcomb in car 85. Five laps down. 
Chris Forbes in car 21 now trying the outside of car 85. And Roy Altucho slams into 153, gets her sideways. Car 219, naughty boy. Yellow flag. Mike Kirby now gonna have a little bit of pressure put back on him from car 57, Dave Smoot and double zero, John Kosas. Three, when's he gonna pick up the throttle? It's anybody's guess. He's starting to do it right now and our starter throws a green flag. Kirby the leader followed by Smoot. Kosas in car seven, Kenny Mann. Top four cars already leaving the rest of the pack. That's Roy Altucho in car 219 being chased down by car 71, Tony Safino. Double point night, anything goes with Kirby leading one more lap. Pole sitter Norm Holcomb on the low side of Bill Johnson in car 76 and Chris Laney in car 97 still looking for a way around to get up with the leaders. Eight laps down, 12 to go. Alan Godfrey could use a little extra points tonight and he finds himself in the middle of the pack. Watch the number four car of Alan Godfrey. Pedal to the metal, coming out of four. We got them piled up in the north turn. Patchell parks it in the wall. And a yellow flag. out of turn four we got pedals down already with Kirby and Kenny Mann headed for turn one Kenny Mann leads by half a car length could be Kenny Mann's night beating out Kirby out of turn four Kirby plows right on the gas pedal and into turn three it's Mike Kirby by about two inches. Kirby and Kenny Mann come together out of turn four. It's now back to Kenny Mann by half a car length. Kenny Mann the leader at lap 10 into turn one. It's Mike Kirby now and now it goes right back to Kenny Mann. The lead swaps about four times in one lap with Kenny Mann the leader by a half a car length going into three. Mike Kirby in second, John Kosas in car zero zero in third place waiting for a bubble. Kenny Mann the leader and Mike Kirby gonna try him on the Low side going into one. Double points and everybody wants to lead early. Tony Safino in fourth place followed by Smoot. Laney, Godfrey, Butters, DePillow, Holcomb, Forbes, Johnson, Bradford, Brylean, Wright, Parker, Darren, Groves, Appleby, and Mothab. 12 down, eight to go. Kenny Mann. And Stretching a big lead as Kirby heads for the pit area. John Kosis now in second with Tony Safino third. Kenny Mann has the break he's waited for for a long time. Finds himself with only seven laps to go and a double point night as the leader. About 10 car lengths between himself and we got Wild Bill Johnson in car 76 getting crossed up and back under control. Robert Bothap in car 24 makes way for the pit area. But John Coast is now going to do battle in turn one with Tony Safino. Tony Safino finds the low side of Kosis and hammers it down the back chute. Kenny Mann still the leader and he's got Kosis and Safino coming up after him. Making a way through traffic, car 153, Donut Ride, passed up half the field in about 10 laps. Car 153 looking for a way around car 21. Yellow flag for a car 85, Norm Holcomb. And car 15, Bobby Bradford. Three cheering section down there. Here we 
go. Kenny Mann, car number seven, gets a green flag, hammers it down the front straightaway, followed by Zafino and Kosas. Tony Zafino on the low side of Kosas comes out of turn two, about a car, half a car length ahead. Into second goes Zafino, third place goes his fourth place. The point leader, Godfrey, fifth place is Laney. Laney on the low side of Godfrey, coming out of turn four is going to be Kenny Mann, the leader, with the battle for fourth place, going to car number four. Car 77, Steve Butters loses about two positions coming out of two, and Kenny Mann is going to have his hands full with Tony Zafino. Kenny Mann in car number seven. Tony Zafino in car 71. Zafino trying to try him on the high side. Kenny wants to slide high, but leaves racing room for Zafino. Down low goes Kenny Mann. Coming out of turn four, Kenny Mann a little too low. Opens the door for Safino down the front straightaway. It's going to be Safino, the brand new leader by half a car length. Now a car length. In a turn one goes Safino. Kenny Mann coming right back at him. Coming out of turn two, it's Kenny Mann. Side by side. Safino pulling him on the back shoot. And Kenny Mann coming right back in. And Kenny Mann tags Safino. Closes the door on Godfrey. It's a brand new race. And we have a yellow flag. flag and Zafino and Laney head for turn one. Laney alongside of Zafino. Zafino pulling Laney down the back chute. Two laps to go and Zafino up front. Car number seven now up a few positions and headed for some more. White flag flies. Down the back chute comes Dave Smoot in car 57, looking for second place. As 57 comes together with 97. Checker flags flying. It's going to go to Zafino. Second place going to Laney. Third place is 57, followed by DePillo, Butters, Forbes, Alta Cho, and Wright. Appleby, Holcomb, Johnson, and Kosis. <laughs> Man, does that let you know what's going on for figure eights? Let's uh, stand up now on the parade lap. Let these guys know it's time for them to put their foot through the radiator and go racing. Heat races and all that are plenty good, but now it's main event time. In the pits. This one's going to be a fast one, so we need the pro stocks lined up in turn four of the half mile. You guys are next. And we got the Oliver division ready to go, so you guys better get in line. Just been informed that we got some real heavy hitters coming from around California for tonight's Pro Stock main event. Dick Shepard is not driving the 22 car. The man that's uh, looking for a championship in the California Regional Series, Bobby Hogue, San Mateo, is just one of the drivers that we have here tonight looking for regional points. Okay, Alan Porter checking over the field, and he's got the green flag in hand. I think we're going to go racing in the Bomber Oval Division. Let's see what he does. He throws a green flag, and we're on our way. Bomber Oval main event in a turn one. It's going to be car number 82, Robbie Knapp. Leading car number 48, Mike Hamley. Norm Holcomb in third in car 85 with a three-way battle for fourth between Garrett, Terrell, and Smoot. Robbie Knapp brings them down as the leader at the end of lap one in car number 82. The rest of the field, everybody's flying into turn one. Nobody bobbles, and Robbie Knapp holds on to the lead. Terrell, out of two, goes way high and loses 
Lots of room. Mike Hanley second, Brad Guerin third, Dave Smoot fourth, followed by Holcomb, Groves, Bradford, and Preston. Watch the 21 car, Chris Forbes. Stroker ace, Chris Forbes in car 21, picks off one more car as Bradford tags the wall. In the back of the pack, you got Zafino in car 71X, John Kosas in double zero. Looking for the leaders with Chris Laney. And car 97 catching up with the front runners. Bobby Bradford going for the pit area with two flat tires on the right side of the car and three laps are down with Robbie Knapp the leader coming down for lap four. Car 82, Robbie Knapp pulls on the lead with Mike Cambly taking it away. You got a brand new leader and then one more time another brand new leader on the low side. Car 57, Dave Smoot slips into the lead. Smooch, a brand new leader in car 57, followed by Hambly, Knapp, Gross, and now up into fifth place is Stroker Ace, Chris Forbes in car 21. Russell Gross in car 61, working over Robbie Knapp in car 82. Dean Preston in car number 11, and uh, Norm Holcomb in 85. Holding off, Chris Forbes. John Kosas in double zero zero on the high side of Chris Laney. Robbie Knapp in third is holding off Chris Forbes in fourth. Coming out of turn four, it's Zafino ahead of Godfrey, Griffin, Waslowski, Man, Rice, and Butters. Followed by Parker, Terrell, Briley, and Regal. Car 219, Roy Altucho brings up the rear of the pack, and here comes your leader, Dave Smoot, in car 57. Got one going up in smoke, car 17, a brand new transmission in car 17, and we're smoking. Car 17 headed for the pit area. And the leader, Dave Smoots, already looking at the rear of lap traffic. Riley in car number 09, holding off a Regal. And then it's Altucho. So your leader now at the end of lap nine, going for lap 10, already past the lap traffic with Hambly in second. Robbie Knapp third, Chris Forbes battling for fourth, John Kosis trying to make a night out of it. Trophy Dash winner, John Kosis looking for the leader. Russell Groves holds off, holds off Mario DePillo followed by Tony Safino, Gottfried, and Henry Wislowski. We could have a new man in second place here anytime. And the way he's going forward, it's to be expected. Car 21, Chris Forbes, trying to get around uh, hobby stock champion, Mike Hambly. Car 0, zero John Kostas now reeling in Chris Forbes with Laney and Holcomb getting back on the track. We got a three-way battle now for second place. Car 219 is a lap down, and car 48 is in second place with John Kosis, double zero, taking away third place momentarily from Chris Forbes. Hamley now passed lap traffic, and Kosis gets stuck on the outside. Chris Forbes hold on to third with John Kosis and Forbes getting together. Kosis backs off. And everybody so far making it out of turn four. Dave Smoot has a straightaway lead over second place. Mike Hamley, John Kosas in third. Chris Forbes in fourth, followed by Groves. And here comes the point leader, Tony Safino in car 71X. Mike Hamley holds on a second and Kosas trying to get around him.
Zafino and Pillow. Followed by Kenny Mann and Alan Godfrey. Then it's Dean Preston, Steve Butters, and Parker loses a left front wheel. Bar 55. Has the wheel attached, but not the way it's supposed to be. And we're gonna have a red flag. We got Brad Guerin in car 45 in trouble on the back chute. In car 55. I see Steve Butters parked in car 77. from the pit area. We've sent ambulances over there. And I don't know why yet. I think that possibly car 45 had the wind knocked out of him and a little concern for him. In the pits, Pro Stocks, your main event is just right around the corner here real quick. We need you lined up, turn four of the half mile. Sixteen laps down. Going for 20, so we got four laps left, and Kosis and Forbes battling for position. And on the high side is Tony Safino with Forbes coming out in second place. And sliding into third is John Kosis with the leader, Dave Smoot, leaving the field. 17 down, three to go. Hambly too high, can open the door for Safino. Tony Safino, the point leader, now into fourth place. Followed by Hambly, Groves, Pillow, Mann, Preston, and Gottfried. Coming out of four, Dave Smoot powers away. With two laps to go for a Bomber Oval main event win. White flag coming out for Dave Smoot, car number 57. Dave Smoot. Closer and closer, Dave Smoot comes to a main event win. Half a lap to go for the leader with Chris Forbes. Forbes now reeling in Smoot. Good look at Chris Forbes coming out of turn four. It's going to be, whoa, the official is going to have to call that one. I'm waiting for the official finish here. How about it for both these guys? Huh? How many say 57? Well, you're right. 
Dave Smoot, car number 57, the winner. He deserved to win, but on one heck of a show, had the lead taken away from him on the yellow flag, powered down the straightaways, and uh, right there at the end, car 21, stroke race. Chris Forbes came within about a half of a chrome plating job from taking the win away. Super Shops of Torrance and Daytona Auto. Tom Wright a little too high. Appleby takes over second and Dale Briley into third. Turn two is a traffic jam. Everybody seems to stay in the power and get through, but positions were scrambled. Holcomb, Appleby, and Briley lead Parker, Wright, Groves, and Spoot. Followed by Butters, Griffin, Kenny Mann, Chris Slaney, Chuck De Guevara, and Henry Wislowski. Turn one has Steve Lucky losing control, gathers her back up, and at the end of two laps, it's Norm Holcomb leading the main event for the Bomber Old Division. Car number 18, Leroy Weaver, more than likely in that car. Could be someone else, though. Dave Smoot in car 57, putting the pressure on Appleby. Now at the end of three laps, Altucho in trouble, trying to stay on the racing surface. Car number 219 does, and car number four, Alan Godfrey heads for the pit area. Dave Smoot, last week's main event winner, already battling for second spot, and he has it by a bumper, or as he calls it, a beer bottle. Dale Briley tags the wall and going to lose a lot of positions. Russell Groves, car 61, and Kenny Mann pass Briley. Holcomb still the leader with Dave Spook now closing the gap, followed by Appleby and Griffin. Going into turn one, it's going to be Chris Forbes, Mario DePillo, Tom Wright, Tony Safino, Donut Wright, and Ray Terrell. Six laps down, Holcomb getting the pressure now put on and turn ones and two is a problem. Riley into the wall and Tom Wright into the wall. Could have a yellow flag. Wright back under power. Seven down, Holcomb the leader. Now Dave Smoot, car 57, right on the rear bumper of the leader. Bill Griffin, car 17 in third with Appleby and Kenny Mann now battling for position. Kenny Mann taking over fourth place. The leader is car 85, Norm Holcomb. Kenny Mann in fourth, Appleby fifth, followed by Butters and Laney. Traffic jam one more time. We have a blue light special coming out of turn four. Yellow flag. Flag. Holcomb and Smoot lead the rest of the field into turn one with Bill Griffin, car number 17 in third. Kenny Mann, car number seven, holding off Tony Zafino. Zafino on the high side lets Steve Butters in on the low side. Bill Griffin in trouble. Stranger back out with Dave Smoot, the leader. Dave Smoot looking for a repeat win, uh, starting to get away from the rest of the field. Car 77, Steve Butters. Coming out of four, everybody in trouble, nobody goes back. Kenny Mann, car number seven, now looking at the rear bumper of car 17, Bill Griffin, into turn three they go. 
Smoot coming out of turn four, the leader. 11 laps down, going for 12. Tony Safino, car 71X, on the high side of the racing surface, holding on to fourth place. Kenny Mann takes one more try at Griffin. Ray Terrell, Steve Butters, Chris Laney, Chris Forbes, Donor Wright, and at least one lap down, Arlen DeYoung. Starting to smoke, the early leader in car number 85 could be in trouble. Russell Groves now trying to hold off John Kosas in turn three, followed by Parker, Appleby, Osdale, and Hansen. David Caesar, car number two, uh, hangs right in there with Steve Lucky and Dale Briley having handling problems tonight. 16 laps down for the leader, Dave Smoot. Kenny Mann, car number seven. Trying to reel him in. Now Tony Safino. Flat left rear tire looks like on Safino. Safino in trouble. Bill Griffin, car 17, was in third place. Takes off the track. That's going to make Ray Terrell, car 14, inherit third. Followed by Forbes, Holcomb. Laney, Butters, and Donut Wright. Here comes Tony now smoking on down the front chute. Yellow flag comes out for car 71, Tony Safino, with lots of smoke coming from under the hood. Laney smoking pretty heavily too in car number 97. Always doing good. Last week's main event winner, Dave Smoot. And multiple winner, Kenny Mann. Car number seven, green flag, and they all head for turn one. 17 laps down. Forbes up a little too high. Steve Butters on the low side, trying to get around to right with the battle for the lead between Smoot and Mann. Coming out of turn four, it's Kenny Mann, the leader, followed by Smoot, Terrell, and Holcomb. The Butters all over car 153. No harm, no foul. And uh, Stroke Race heads for the pit area, ending his chances of a main event win. Checkered flag one lap away as the white flag flies for Kenny Mann in car number seven. With car 57 in second, Norm Holcomb back up to third. The battle right now for fourth between Ray Terrell and Donut Wright. Watch turn three. You got a nor oh Steve Butters into the rear of Donut Wright. Wright having nowhere to go. And the checker flag will go to car number seven, Kenny Mann. Looks like 24 cars to me. Last race of the season. Our starter, Alan Porter, Mark Famolero, throw a green flag, and we're racing. Jim Bunch takes an early lead over Dave Dahl. In car 44, Norm Holcomb in car 80. Is third going for fourth if Bill Griffin gets his way. Griffin has third by half a car length. And on the low side of Jim Bunch goes car 44. Davey Dahl takes the lead in car 44. Jim Bunch second, Griffin third. Watch the number 35 car.
Tony Safino, way in the back in car number 35, the man to keep your eye on. Last start finish line goes Tony Safino right now. Holcomb fourth, Butters fifth, followed by Mosier, Donut Wright, and Sheriff John, John Kotsis. Car number 97 on a hot streak, right behind Kotsis is car number 97, Chris Slaney. Donut Wright had nowhere to go as Steve Mosier came across the top of the track, but that opened the door for Norm Holcomb. Car number 85. Car number five, Mario Bill on the low side of car 153. Donut Ride holds off a hard charging car 97. Chris Laney, and we have a yellow flag because. Lined up back in proper order, and the green flag's gonna fly. And we have Arlen DeYoung Jr. and Bill Griffin headed for turn one. Butters, Wright, Holcomb, and Kosis. Kenny Mann in car number seven gets on the high side of Mario DeBillo in car number five with main event winner Chris Forbes and Chris Eleni side by side in car 21 and 97. think so. Starter says okay. Jim Bunn and Arnold here and the turn one. Kenny Mann in car number seven squeezes through Bunch and Butters and takes over second spot with Chris Slaney in car number 97 headed for fourth place. Jim Bunch in car 27 starting to smoke. Not a good sign with only six left now. Arlen Dion Jr. is starting to put some distance between himself and second place. Seven laps down. Arlen Dion Jr. Getting in. Chris Laney, top three cars. We got problems. Jim Bunch. Gets her sideways at the drive-thru. And we stay under green. Kenny Mann now taking over the lead from Arlen Young Jr. with Chris Laney right there. And Arlen Young Jr. holds on. Kenny Mann sideways and goes back about 10 spots. Chris Laney way from a long way back. Holds on to second place now. Mario DePillo on the low side of Laney. Car number five, Mario DePillo. Battling for position with Chris Laney. John Kosis in car number zero, zero alongside of Chris Forbes and Alan Godfrey. Three of rest going to turn one. Bobby Bradford gets together with Jerry Crane. And car number 43, Steve Lucky, all over. Car 153, Donut Wright, takes out Robbie Knapp, too. Lucky, Knapp, and Wright back on the track. The leader, Arlen Young Jr., finds himself in trouble in traffic. Car the pool. Takes a try and it doesn't work. Drops back five positions and Chris Laney now on the rear bumper of Arlen Young Jr. Jim Bunch, car 927. Black 
flag going to be displayed to car number 97. to clear right now a muffler out of turn one the reason for the yellow and the black flag was being displayed for Kenny Mann for consultation and he was set back a few positions for rough driving Kenny Mann was set back for rough driving I'm sorry Chris Laney set back for rough driving. Kenny Mann was the good guy. Butters, Chris Forbes, Alan Gottfried, and Mario DePillo. Watch the 97 car, Chris Laney slicing through traffic now. See if he can do it from the rear. Lap 13, seven to go. Steve Butters takes the lead away and following him right through. Chris Forbes. All the young junior in a little bit of trouble. Drops back to third. Now Mario DePillo in car number five. See what he could do. And we got two cars parked in turn two. Jack Parker and Dennis Hansen. That'll bring out a yellow flag. Next to go, Steve Butters and Arlen DeYoung Jr. on the front row. Chris Forbes. Alan Godfrey's in the second row for the lead is going to be between 21 and 4 real quick. Steven Butters, car 77, the leader. And Chris Ford, Alan Godfrey. Getting around Arlen DeYoung Jr. going to be chasing down Butters if they have their way. Pillow, Wright, Laney, and Preston. Alan Godfrey, car number four, chasing down Steve Butters. Butters down low. Godfrey forced to go up high. Now Butters goes up high. Closing the door on Godfrey. Laney in car number 97 trying to pick off Dean Preston in car number 11 with Alan Godfrey taking over the lead. Chris Forbes hauls him on through. Carl 
Alan Dion Jr. in third, followed by Mario DePillo, Donut Wright, Preston and Laney. White flag flies, and we've got Steve Lucky in trouble on the back shoot. Lucky stays under power, no need for a yellow flag, and Arlen Young Jr. in third. Chris Forbes in second. Laney starting to smoke a motor. And a checkered flag flies for Alan Godfrey. up the season second place in points Alan Godfrey the winner of Bomber Oval main event 